<laughs> Jerk. Chatty, it sucks. This is Chris. I'm stuck in the elevator. There's been a crime afoot. Yep, this is gonna be a lawsuit. Okay, I think I'll take the stairs after that. Gang bangers, we'll say, is La Raza. You're refusing to wear a mask? Yes. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, what's your job duty? We're, we're, we're stepping up. Ma Did she lock us in here? Man, this lady just locked us inside of a vault. Golly. Okay. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Friday the Roundup with Sheriff Wyatt A. Moron. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Help it continue to shrink by watching my videos, sharing my videos, commenting on my videos. Make sure and turn on that there notification bell. Click that like button. Like it, dislike it. Put a bunch of signs and posters on the passenger side of his car. That way you don't see him when it's leaving in the morning. And right on there, F the police and put its phone number and said, text me if you need some crack or meth. Well, today's moron is this guy goes by the name IAM Free Inland Auditing Media. Today, he wanders into the Department of Social and Health Services to do a fraud it, because of course, he hits on all the main fraud or talking points. He got tips and leads about bad service, tyrants inside, doesn't understand limited public forums, makes bad predictions about what's going to happen going forward. And the piece de resistance, a big slice of racism pie. So let's watch this guy and let's round us up a frauditor. Hey everyone, I am free. It's April 11th, 2024. I'm in the city of Bellevue, King County, Washington State. Heading, heading on over there to the Department of Social and Health Services. Got uh, reports tips and leads that there's bad customer service, lack of transparency for public records requests, uh, generally being unhelpful, kind of uh, rude really, just to uh, most people coming in for services. So I'm gonna see if there's actually any uh, merit to that. Come off it, frauditor. Ain't nobody calling you or sending you tips or leads. I wish these auditors would stop that stupid grift. If I got a legit complaint about a government building, last person I'm going to go to is uh, my local frauditor. Hi, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. Looking to see if I can get a public records request form? Yeah, for sure. Great. I was also kind of curious, uh, just random, uh, why is a confidential visitor sheet up here? I'm sorry, one more time? Why is, why is there a confidential visitor signing sheet? Seems not very confidential in public like that. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm the office manager. This is the way it was set up, and it is confidential because the, the names are blocked here. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. You're an idiot <laughs> and a scammer. Are you recording? I am. Can you not record this right here? Hello. How can I help you today? Yeah, looking to see if I can get a public records request form. You want to speak with someone? I'm looking to get a public records request form. Public records request form? Yep. Wait a minute. Thanks. Oh, uh, well, I, I'm going to fill it out and then I'll send it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a minute. Good. Client wants for public request. If you're recording, you're not allowed. Oh, yeah. You cannot yeah. ask permission. Turn it off. No, it's not going to happen. It is going to happen. Don't talk to him. He needs to be booted out of the office, please. I can promise you one thing it's not going to happen. You are you're gonna leave the office, sir. No, I'm not. You need to call cops otherwise. He does not have permission to record anything. Did you give him permission to record? No. Okay. No, sir, you cannot record. Oh yeah, you can. I know you might be from a regime like you know, North Korea or something. Whoa! Adjust your hood there, David Duke. Boy, the racism is just rich. 
And by the way, if you think that's what people from North Korea look like, you're dumber than I thought. But you actually came to a new country. I'm sorry. I can't hear your communism. Sorry. I wouldn't recommend that. Okay. So you're not going to give me a public records request for him? Okay. Well, now I do have business with security. So if you got a minute, I'd like to I'd like to that guy not to call the police. Look, normally I wouldn't care if he calls somebody black. But after he just went full Jimmy the Greek a minute ago, it just sounds a little creepy. And by the way, where do you think that security guard is from? Australia? Do you know where that manager went? I will not talk with you. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Certainly a right to do that. Uh, Caucasian. Hey, Hitler. Notice how he didn't say jive ass honky? Jeans. Yeah. Um, 30s. 60s. Average. Uh, blue pants, green jacket. Yes. The lawn, uh, 253-830-4743. He's, he's currently standing next to me, recording me on this conversation. Yeah, they, yeah, pretty much. That's what my supervisor wanted. Shut up, Bert! Thank you. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. They en route? Oh. Up. Okay. Give your sister, not in there. You're recording people without permission. Get out of here, sir. Sir, you need to stop. Calm I'm down. not going to stop here. You need to calm Please. down, okay? Okay, I'm calm. De-escalate, okay? All right. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to smooth this over. I'm gonna try to de-escalate this and explain something to you, okay? This is implied consent for entry because it's a government agency. You have every liberty to record in public. This is a publicly accessible area, okay? So what I'm telling you is, based on state statutes, RCW 9.73 is the privacy statute. However, it doesn't allow for you to control or limit video and audio in public. This is public. Hey, ass wipe. It's a limited public forum. It ain't public. And by the way, the people in here are people in need of help. They need medical assistance. They need housing assistance. They need financial assistance. Can you imagine if filming in there was the norm how many people would be too embarrassed to go down and ask for help? You, sir, are gutter trash. You cannot take... They, did, did you give permission to him to we talk to We asked him not to record you did? it. Did, did you guys give him permission? So why don't we do this? Let's He's just step aside him. for a sec, okay? I'm not going to talk to you until the cop shows up. All right. Thank well, you so much. That's your right. DC Wife absolutely had no problems. DSHS is actually uh, attempting to abridge my liberties. Uh, obviously making a phone call that they shouldn't be making. It's a call for service that doesn't need to happen. So I don't know, can you explain exactly why you called the police when no crime doing, was committed? I was doing my job. My supervisor went in off property. He didn't have permission to record. Oh, that's why I called you guys. Well, I guess here's, here's, the, here's the brass tacks of it. 
part of what I'm here covering, and we can, I guess, get right to the bottom of this since you're here, kind of Cheryl, uh -huh. is I absolutely can record in there. RCW 9.73 is extraordinarily clear. If there is an, if there is no expectation of privacy when you're in public, you can record video and audio there. Again, you ain't in public. It's a limited public forum. There is no expectation of privacy in there. I went there to conduct business, which is to get a public records request done. You called the police and basically had no reason to have Bellevue police show up here. Okay. So, so this is a private establishment? I Before this is all said and done and Liberty champions the day, let's talk about this a bit. This is a rare admission from anyone, but we actually get to see the initial absurd and Liberty violating actions of the police before this gets fixed in the end. Security has called the police after a maniac DSHS employee went bananas. And now when police arrive, they are literally enforcing feelings. After security tells the police that that is exactly what they're trying to do. So what is your intention for today? Sir? Uh, safety, just making everyone feel more comfortable. Put in other words, people, the feelings of everyone trump an individual's liberty, and they're willing to use violence to uphold that belief. This is a perfect example of why our government is broken, has an imbalance of tyrannical employees, though not all are bad or tyrannical to be clear, and needs to be checked. The Bellevue Police Department has a profound misunderstanding of trespass laws, and it shows when they act upon emotion rather than law. Well, that was just a big plate of dumb. This is what happens when you watch a few YouTube videos, grab a camera, and head out to hold big government accountable. You ain't qualified to do what it is you're trying to do, sir. You may want to brush up on the First Amendment, the Tenth Amendment, and the Forum Doctrine. So what is your intention for today, sir? Uh, safety, just making everyone feel more comfortable. Um, okay. Yeah, just deterring, making sure there's no I guess the brass tax it is this kind of sheriff. Are you alleging that I committed a crime? No, I'm not saying you did a crime. Okay. Is your superior in there alleging that I committed a crime? Yeah, I don't know what he's alleging. I can go yeah. get him. Yeah, I think you should probably do that because... Oh, yeah, I'm just going to speak to him, yeah. see what yeah. their goal is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you'd probably get my answer from their... Uh, I think his name is Shakir, one of their office managers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so actually, while we're waiting, Connoisseur, if I could ask you, what is leading you to reasonably believe that this is a private business? It is, a, it is an establishment that can control their own premises. They have the authority to do that. So you're saying public forum doctrine doesn't apply here? You forgot the word limited. We'll see if they have to say they have more understanding on their facility. You're saying Fordyce versus are. the city of Seattle, Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, doesn't control them. Look, two things. Fordyce was filming the police. And second... This was a protest outdoors. They got anything to do with this situation. So I understand you had issues with this gentleman recording. Uh, what did you require from police today? So um, he was recording our navigator, which is not allowed. Okay. It's a restricted area and he's not allowed to record restricted areas. So we asked him to stop and he, and he wouldn't stop. Correct. Correct. And so then we asked him to leave the building and then he wouldn't leave the building. Okay. And moving forward, what is your goal here? Our goal is to have him stop recording in restricted areas. Okay, so now that he has done that, is there um, anything further? Now that he's oh, I'm gonna, let me be clear here. I'm going to go back in there unless I'm trespassed. So let me just be really clear about that. Unless you trespass me, and then I will file a civil suit against you personally. He has qualified immunity. You don't. Okay, that's So just fine. understand that the civil suit, you don't get the state so protection. Oh, I don't think this little lady is going to be losing any sleep over this. Can you just tell me the purpose of you coming? Absolutely. If your maniac employee back there had actually done the correct thing and asked instead of been belligerent and been disorderly, okay, I probably could have explained. Okay. I came here working on a story okay. regarding some person who alleges that they were having some issues with DSHS. I'm an investigative journalist. Okay. They came back to record their process of attempting to do a public records request. And guess what? When I went to record the public records request, and this is sad. Here comes a family. They don't want to be on camera. They're covering their faces with their hoods. This is sad. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, fraud editor. But you're probably patting yourself on the back. Process. Okay, I lost you there. So you said that they they came back? The customer came back to The customer record? came back sorry, because sorry, sorry, sorry. they were told during the process. If you guys want to step down here so we can get out of the door, that's fine with me. 
So what I was told, the tip I got was that somebody came in here regarding services. Okay. That mm -hmm. one of their previous encounters here didn't go the way they wanted to, and okay. that they they are basically disputing DSHS's basically rendition of what occurred. Not their their school, experience. Window occurred. six. They wanted to come Not back school, and record six. and attempted to do so to prove that what DSHS was saying was in fact incorrect, that okay. it was a disputed in, uh, accounting of okay. what had occurred. So I came back to see if the PRR process, the public records request process, was an issue. I went to the information desk. Right. There's nothing restricted about information. I we have, all know I have that. the WAC here, or the information that we've been given that says that there are restricted areas and the navigator station is a restricted area. You cannot record there. Sure, and let me and be so clear about this. There's nothing over there. Absolutely zero signage that does it. And this is a lobby and a foyer, okay? It's publicly accessible. Right. The Privacy Act in Washington State, which is RCW 9.73, does not cover in any way, shape, or form a disallowance of the press to come and do their business to record video and audio in places that are publicly accessible. Okay. So you can't say you can't turn your camera this way. You know that case was was handled back in 1948. Sir, if eyes you can't be trespassed. Okay. okay. If you want to talk to somebody about it, you can go to somebody. No, I'm going to go in there and conduct my business, and well, the only way I'm not going to. I just need to know what your business is because to do the public records so, request process. So let me uh, let me. Okay, I can get you a form, no, 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 and no, no, we no. can do that. To document it. You want to document? You cannot document where there's a restriction. Well, you know area. what? We're going to have to agree to disagree. Nope. You're going to continue to be wrong until a judge says otherwise. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to go back in there and do exactly what I just said unless <laughs> I get trespassed. That's it. That's the only way this is going to go down. So are you going to, are you going to um, record my navigator station again? I don't even know what the navigator station is. It's where is. you went up to the information, the information desk. I'm yes. going to go back to the information okay, desk. So then I will trespass you because you're not allowed to do that. Okay. So, are you going to enforce would you like the trespass? Form, sir? Yes, I would. Okay. I'm so, go ahead and can that. I just say something here? Yeah. For the client, I mean, we're all about the clients, right? So, the client that didn't get helped, um, we want to be able to help that person. So, I'm the administrator in the building. If I, if we can help, we can help file a fair hearing to where, if anything DSHS has ever done that mm. was not okay anybody in anybody in the state can file a fair hearing where a judge would look at what we did and see if it was correct or not correct that is a great thought little lady but i tell you what it's not going to get the kind of clicks and views that he's hoping for we try to look at things and we try to correct them yeah things aren't always perfect we get that mm -hmm. and and if there's something we can do to help help alleviate whatever the customer has the question the customer has we want to do that. Well, on, on that side... So let me ask you, are you with a... Uh, I'm an investigative journalist. I, I work know, for a media company. You work for a media company. So yeah. like, I could be getting myself in trouble and even just explaining that to you. I'm just explaining what the process is. Okay, so I guess sure. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's still free speech in this country. I mean, Absolutely. <laughs> oh, dear God, this is not about free speech. She's at work right now. And a lot of departments like this have spokespeople designated to speak for them. They will restrict a lot of employees from talking to the press as fake as they may be. But I'm sure as a journalist you already know that. Absolutely. Yeah. We want I just want you to know we want to help the we want to help clients that are having a problem. Well, what I'm going to do when this story gets published, uh -huh. I mean, I'm going to reach out and email back to that individual who gave me the tip and lead regarding the poor customer service in there, which is absolutely true. What's being done right now and unfortunately even though Officer Connor is a nice guy, he is profoundly wrong in this case. And the problem that's going to come back is even though he knows, he believes he's doing the right thing, he has qualified immunity. He's not going to get in trouble. Guarantee 100%. You two are really scaling the mountain here. And I'll that qualified immunity that he has, you don't possess. So you're putting yourselves at civil jeopardy. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> I am by talking to you, for, but all I'm doing is explaining to you the process and how we can sure. help your client. No, I, That's well, all. I want to be clear. It's not my client. And, okay. It's a tip, it's a tip that and a lead about. that I got from, okay. from a citizen okay. who said, hey, here's the problem that I experienced at DSHS here. So I came here to look into that. Okay. And as soon as I got back there, this guy right here went crazy. You can't record restricted areas, sir. I'm really sorry. You can't record We're just that. gonna have to agree to disagree okay, on this because fine. the fact of the matter is, is that, that case from 1948, McDonald versus the United States. I just don't get it. 
The case he's referring to is about a man who was surveilled by the police for weeks for running a lottery in his house. And they wound up searching his house without a warrant. And that was later suppressed by the Supreme Court. What the hell does this have to do with this situation? It, I'm just it going by what I what this at I, the Supreme Court of the United States nearly 75 years ago. So okay. would you like a written copy of the trespass? Yeah. Would you like to provide your information for this trespass I would order? definitely not like to do okay. that, yeah. That's fine. Uh, actually, oh, also, kind of share, can I yes. get uh, Supervisor Corporal Sergeant, whoever that would be, to come would like a supervisor to the scene? I would, yeah. Thank okay. you. I can go ahead and contact you. Right. Thanks. Okay. Uh, do you have a business card, Diane? I do. I'll go okay. get one. Great. Appreciate it. Thanks. And, sir, do you have a business card? No, I don't. What's your name? Shakir. Shakir? Shakir. Shakir. Okay. And what do you do here? I'm a supervisor here. Okay. All right. And you, you manage Shakir, the you office overall? Come in? Yeah, I'm Are good. you okay? So, bravo. He's trespassed for a year. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit to where the sergeant shows up, and he does a little fibbing. But he gets caught. You're recording people without permission. Get out of here. Sir. And so then we asked him to leave the building and then he wouldn't leave the building. You're an idiot <laughs> and a scammer. So no one in there asked you to leave? No. No one they asked me. They asked me. They asked me to who, who not Who signed record. the trespass? Well, the lady inside is going to come out and sign it. Yeah. I've mentioned that she didn't get a chance to come out yet. Sure. But that being said, they did ask you to leave in our presence. I'm not sure if they told you that before, but while we were standing there, they said that their goals sure, and that's why I left Steve. were for you to leave. So, Steve, so they did ask you to leave. Mm -hmm. So that means the trespass is lawful if you decide you didn't want to leave. So there was a strange twist that happens there that I'm going to leave out. They actually come back out and withdraw their trespass. They allow him to go back in, but tell him he's not allowed to record the restricted areas. And he continues to argue his point. And at some point, that poor lady, I think, just gave up. So I think he thinks he won this, but I'm kind of curious to see if there's any uh, follow-up on this. If there is, I will let you know. Well, I can tell by that sundial, it's time to say goodnight. A little beans on the fire. A little margarita on ice. And as always, cuddle up with a clean shirt and a dirty woman. Anyway, goodnight. I bid you adieu.